Tim Fasano here. I'd like to address the issue of the reoccurring videos that Sasquatch Ontario is putting up. And I read his uh, rebuttal where he uh, sounds like Rick Dyer in many ways where he's talking about haters and people who are jealous, and people who, who can't be him. It's like Anthony Quinn in that movie where he says, do you think you can be me? And uh, we don't want to be you. And the reason I say we is there's a, there's a researcher out of Georgia. His name is Alex Walker. He held an extremely successful Bigfoot conference in Atlanta, Georgia, outside of Atlanta, where the theme of the conference was on Bigfoot linguistics. And he had multiple experts in the field of Bigfoot language, Bigfoot ling ling linguistics, that had built on work that had been done for decades based on recordings and things that we may or may not know about Bigfoot language. And Alex Walker doesn't agree that it's real either. And it's not a matter of je jealousy. It's because guys like that are destroying Bigfoot. It's not like it's a big circus act and we're trying to outdo the other one. And my God, he just got the advantage on me and I got to come back and I got to... There is no comeback because you're looking for evidence and evidence is either there or it's not going to be there. And when there's a guy that's obviously manufacturing things that are destroying everything that we know because he's getting a follow, a following. I mean, P.T. Barnum was right. And this is to his followers. There's a sucker born every minute. You, you people are not using any type of critical thinking in the realm of Bigfoot, nor, nor should I expect you to because you don't do field research. But there's a body of work that's been done to show that there could be a beginning language I'm near an airport, folks. And that would all be thrown out the window to a guy who's recording things like block, 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 power, rock. And then he sounds like he belches. I think he gets drunk or something before he does this, this fake video stuff. But 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 it's all phony. And just like that other guy out of Ontario, where the one video where he got pushed down. Oh 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 oh! oh the big he just knocked me down. As a guy from England said, rubbish. Or when he filmed over his shoulder the the five foot nothing, a hundred and. 50 pound nothing Bigfoot behind him and then did his his self interview where he said that it was the, the full video was going to be released and it was now private and it never was released and he never did anything with it and it's just uh, until Tim Irvick came out recently with his statement I was really beginning to wonder about Ontario and whether they had a different set of ethics it is possible uh, People I pick up from Canada seem to be decent people, but the closer they get to Toronto, really the more arrogant they, they seem to get. As if they're not only better than the rest of Canada, but better than the rest of the world, and perhaps that's where this entitlement comes from. But guys like him are, are just bad for Bigfoot. Now, I've recorded audios, which are more animal in sound, and that's why I hold the belief that Bigfoot is more of an animal. And this is in line with, with people like Dr. Uh, Jeff Meldrin, Dr. Bendenekel, and, and others, uh, which, which they purport to believe. So I'm not really out on a tree limb sawing it off, ready to fall. Uh, but this guy's on his own, and it's all made up. And the last video, if you listen to it, you, you guys that are trolls are probably at least somewhat of a computer nerd. Listen to that audio. And tell me how easy that wouldn't be to just throw up on your computer elongate it, stretch it out, add some verb to it, and uh, get you that kind of a tinsel, a metal kind of sound that you're getting. So, um, please, you need, to, you need to call this guy out and uh, stop stroking his dick. That's all, that's all I'm asking you. And uh, Midnight Walker is correct, absolutely 100 billion percent correct about this guy and about Bigfoot vocalizations. The, the research is inconclusive now, but it's growing and we're, we're moving more towards an understanding, and this guy's not helping at all. None. Anyway, Tim out.